Hi, in the next five minutes I'm going to explain how to set up a reverse mortgage calculator on your website using the tools provided for free at Reverse Mortgage Toolkit. So, assuming you've already created your account here on the Get Started link, all we need to do is log in to find out what the code is that the website wants us to include on our, on our page. So here I see a couple of tools that I've created. I want to create a new one for the purposes of this demonstration, so I'm going to click on Add New Tool and let's put this on fha.gov. The domain that you specify here is important because for security purposes the tool is not going to work on any domain other than the one that you specify here and I'm going to show you what a typical um, error looks like if that doesn't happen and work through that. So let's click on the show code for the domain that I just created I see two pieces of HTML here that I'm going to need to use. The first one belongs in the head tags, or just after the body tags. So we'll come back to that in a second. First of all, I'm going to need to create a blank HTML page to contain this calculator. So hopping over to my code editor, I have a little Hello World page. And let's take a look at it in our web browser. So here's my test page. And let's modify just to make sure we're actually looking at the right version save those changes, come back and reload, and yes, that's the right page. So, jumping back to the toolkit, I'm going to copy this first chunk of code and paste it in just above the head tag. Without really digging too deep into what I'm pasting in, we'll come back to that in a second. Now the second piece of code belongs wherever the calculator should appear. I'm going to stick it just after the hello world so I'm going to paste that in there and again save my changes. So now when I reload that test page I should see the calculator appear and I do. Now the problem that I'm going to have is that I am not testing this web page on a web server I just opened a file locally on my desktop so there's no web server supporting this page which means that it's not on any domain so that's likely to cause an error. Let's try it out just to see what happens. So as expected I get an error that says this tool is not authorized to be used on this domain. That's because there's no web server associated with your local computer. On the other hand, if I were to load this on a locally hosted web server called localhost, localhost is an exception that has been programmed in for the calculator to accept. So if you were to run this on localhost or 127.0.0.1 or on the domain that you specified before, fha.gov, the calculator will work. So the exact same file, see the version 2.0 note. When I run the calculator this time, because it's on an approved domain, it should work. And it does. I'm seeing live results. And just to make sure that this isn't a, a demo, Let's change some values and see if we get different answers. So I'll change this to 150,000 and change the age to 88. And as you can see, my value is updated and I'm getting different principal limits. So it seems to be working. So the first challenge that we've overcome is the issue of testing on a local file versus on a locally hosted web server. The other thing that we need to do at this point is customize how this calculator looks, because right now we have this kind of ugly Times New Roman font and maybe my web page has a different background color and I want the calculator to absorb it. So now is when we dig a little deeper into the code that we pasted in. If I scroll up and look here I see some style sheets which looks promising for editing formats. I see some more style sheets that have been included for me. I'm going to assume that I can't modify those. A little bit of JavaScript and then down below I see my calculator. So let's say I want to call this rmcalc version 3.0. If I save my changes and I reload, you can see that it has absorbed it. So clearly I can edit um, some of the code or HTML that's being displayed in the calculator box. And let's see if I can give this background a different color. So let's look at the calc box and let's give it a background color of something really horrible like orange. 
when I reload the page, again it changed. The point here is that pretty much everything in this calculator is customizable to make it look and feel exactly like your overall web page. And with that, we've concluded the tutorial. Good luck.